So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's do better underscore fitness. And that's for my work one. And our car one is watch underscore German underscore cars. Okay, please enjoy the video. Welcome to my video, guys. So today we'll be talking about the EQS 53 AMG. If anybody wants me to make a video on the 450 plus or anything else, let me know and I will. Let's talk about the WLTP range for the minimum trim. So you're going to be able to get 354 miles. That's what they tell you. And with the maximum trim, you're looking at 319 miles. If you use range mode in perfect conditions and you were at 120 kilometers per hour, you're looking at 266 miles. If you have a basic trim and you decided you want to use some heating or some cooling, you're looking at 288 miles. And if you had a top trim and you did the heating or cooling, you're only looking at 265 miles. And I don't know about you, but you're probably going to use the heating or cooling. So for the optimal time to charge, you're looking at, you want to plug in about 12%. So you're going to be able to get 200 kilowatts an hour. And you want, you'll be able to hold that all the way until you get to 29%. And that's at 207 at 29%. And then it's going to drop off a little bit, but it will still stay fairly high, honestly. At 40% you're at 178, at 50% you're still at 162, at 70% it's going to go down to 126, and then from there it's going to drop down to 80%, it's going to be at 100 kilowatts, and then it will go down to 66 at 88, and then it's going to really drop. After 90% it's going to go down to 38%. And then it'll just go down when you're at 98 percent it's 12 kilowatts an hour 99 is seven kilowatts and to get to 100 you're only gonna be at six kilowatts but at these points honestly you should just unplug like for us we only tend to charge this we try to start it at like 10 12 percent and we will just charge it up till we get to maybe 30 percent maybe 35 hopefully that'll be enough range for us and that just seems to work, so you're at the charger for the minimal amount of time. Okay, what everyone cares about, the real world estimates and what we actually get. So at 75 miles per hour, 120 kilometers per hour, with perfect conditions, you're looking at 266 miles, which works out to be 2.5 miles to a kilowatt hour. If you're doing the same speed, but you have heating or air conditioning on, you're looking at 249 miles, and that's 2.3 miles to a kilowatt hour. And then I this isn't my car I share it so when they did a perfect conditions they weren't going more than 65 this is what they got so it's pretty good so they got 3.17 miles per kilowatt hour which is 341 mile range but like I said they drove it very gently in between eco and comfort mode only regen on normal and then they were changing it back and forth depending on the conditions so we all know I don't drive these like hyper miling or anything. I'm going to use sport or comfort. I have strong regen on and the best I could get was 2.57 miles per kilowatt hour. And that's the best I could do. And then you can see here at 66% I'm 202 miles. You can see here at 94% I'm only getting 284 miles. And then here is the kicker. For 96 miles on my normal use, I'm only getting 1.32 miles to a kilowatt hour. And that's because I'm driving it just locally. I'm doing small little trips, um, driving in either sport or comfort. And I do have the climate control on. And it's got air conditioning seats and heating seats. So I use them when it, I need to. So if it's too hot, I turn it on. If it's too cold, I turn on the heated seat. But then it's pretty horrendous, honestly. So for the most cases, I will just take out the EQC 400 because that one does get a little bit better range for my daily use. Hopefully this video has helped you. If it has, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. And remember, if you want a video, let me know and I'll do my best. Bye.